guys, my spring today we are going to be doing something super exciting. Now, it was my birthday a couple days ago, and I went to my party, and my grandparents were awesome, and I was saving up for a new camera, but they decided to get it for me for my birthday. So today we are going to be doing another camera review episode. Um, super awesome new camcorder for TFCI and this channel. So let's get into the review. Alright guys, so we have this little setup here with my mic and the camera over there. This is not the new camera, this is my iPad that I'm using right now. Uh, but that's what we're going to do because we're going to be reviewing the new camera right here. So, this is just going to be a pretty quick video, not too long, just explaining that I got a new camera. My experience with it so far, price range, all the little details of what I got. So, if we look here, we have... Um, it is a Sony camera, it's an HD Sony camera, um, I'll flash up a picture of where I saw it at Best Buy, that's the little, um, flash it right here, that's the little picture, that's the model thing if you guys want to check it out, pretty good camera, not too expensive, so let's get into this, so, if you have, you see this, we have the strap so that you can hold it like this. Obviously we have our little thing right here, and it will show you, it shows you the, what it's filming right now, hello, camera reception. It has the front, the lens, this can flip around so when you're in kind of selfie mode you can see yourself while you're recording it. So we'll put that away for now. Open this open and close with the side flap a doodle opens and closes the lens there. Uh, this thing on the bottom this doesn't come with it, but it comes with the stand I have, and you can connect it to the bottom and put it on the stand for when you're recording. Just stand up, not or not stand up. I'm not a comedian. Um, just like stand still videos. If we open it up here. I'll flip this around right now so you guys can see what it does. This, there's a button on the top, that button, and if I uh, pull it to the right, it zooms in, and if I push it to the left, it'll zoom out. So that's pretty handy for when I'm doing um, comedic shots when I'm like zooming in on someone's funny face during TFCI or whatever. Um, it's really handy and when we're doing stand, just stand still like I was talking about, it's really bit good because we can flip it around and we can see ourselves so we can make sure we're looking at the camera, that we're centered, that the microphone is centered, that everything is going well and is going to plan. So that's really nice. Um, this is the first camera that we bought that is meant for filming. The one that we have been using is um, is like a actual big camera that my mom got because she did for photography for a long time. And it's meant for photography, but it has a camera feature because, or a recording video feature because they needed to put it in because people would complain if they didn't. But it's not meant for filming. It's meant for taking pictures, really good pictures for weddings and whatever photo shoots you need to do. So the problem was, as you can see in the karate episode, it didn't focus as quickly as we needed it to. It, when some points when I was zooming in on the actions they were doing, it didn't focus so you couldn't see it. It didn't focus fast enough is because it was me meant for t photography where you just adjust it yourself and get ready um, and take the picture. But we needed one that focused fast and automatically so that we could make good videos. So that's why I had been saving up for this until I got it for my birthday. So, really handy and it has, um, over here, you can it's an adjustable hand grip so it's comfortable in your hand while you're recording handheld like this. And it's really nice because you can look at it, see if you're recording the correct thing, what you're doing, and whatnot. So, um, 
this is how it charges. There's a little pocket over here. There's a little pocket over here where you take, let's see if I can get it out, take out that, plug it into your adapter, plug it into a power source, and this light will light up and it'll be charging. So that's really handy, really quick when we need to charge it fast. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the actual camera. It has adjustable settings, so you can switch your language to English, whatever you need. Um, you can set your time zone so you can show the time on the video. It's really nice, and for what we're trying to do right now, it's perfect. So price range, it'll vary between where you're getting it on Amazon or if you're buying it from Best Buy or wherever you're getting it from. Uh, we found it at Best Buy about, I can't remember, we'll f you'll see it when I flash up the picture, but it was somewhere in the price range of 230 so not that bad for a camera that does exactly what we want it to. So if you're looking into making quick vlogs or really whatever, a good starting point if you're saving up is this camera. It's really nice. It does exactly what we want it to do. It might vary for what you're trying to do, but for we, what we're trying to do, standstill videos and then occasionally videos where we have to move around and adjust and zoom in and zoom out, it's the perfect camera for what we're trying to do here. Um, so yeah, 250, 230, somewhere around there. Again, I'll show it up. Um, yeah really nice camera so this is what we're going to be using hopefully for TFCI as well as these videos and we'll have this camera will be the backup camera um yeah so that's all I have time for today uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting TFCI go watch some of those if you want they're really awesome we've worked really hard on them and yeah fun things are coming up in the future we'll see you guys next time Bye.